So this year with the global chip shortage, the crypto boom, and more people working from home than ever means that computer parts like CPUs and GPUs are more expensive than ever. In fact, if you look at our old video where we talk about how to build a live streaming PC, the cost of those PCs is probably already doubled by now. So what's an inspiring streamer to do? Well, that's what we're gonna cover in this video. We're gonna take a look at what are the most affordable streaming options or even some of the cheapest streaming options in 2021. So some disclaimers first, of the brands mentioned here, none of them were consulted or sponsored this video. This is purely subjective opinion. And what we're trying to aim for is a decent quality 1080p 60fps stream. Now there's gonna be some bias towards Nvidia based PCs because the NVIC encoder is just so good for event and gaming streams. Now on the CPU side, Intel and AMD are pretty much equal in this sense. There's no bias towards one or the other. What we're really looking for is as many cores as possible for as cheap as possible. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, so if you're looking to build your own custom PC, if you're really dedicated to it, you're gonna have to make some compromises. So first of all, this PC will have to be your secondary stream PC, or if you're doing events, like this can't be a gaming and streaming PC. If you're really trying to do that, I think it's game over. There's some options later in this video that we can discuss. But basically what you're looking for is the best CPU you can buy that has the most cores. And you're probably not gonna be able to get the most modern CPUs unless you just happen to catch one at you know retail price. But what you're looking for here is there's two options. So on, on the lower inside of things, there's the 10th gen i7 CPUs. So if you're just doing like a dedicated streaming PC, these are good enough. You know, they'll have like eight cores and they can encode just fine. Now, if you need something for events or something a bit more high end, I think the first gen AMD Threadrippers are a good buy. They'll give you the PCIe lanes to put in a bunch of different capture cards. But basically when you're building out this PC, I'll link a couple builds in the description, but if you can just find parts from older PCs that you can transfer over to this build, because you know likely you're gonna replace this down the line when prices get like a lot better. So try not to invest too much in this build, just get really solid CPUs and get good power supplies to make sure that you know they don't explode or anything. Now, like I mentioned before, if you're really aiming to have the latest and greatest in terms of CPUs and GPUs, especially GPUs, then you're gonna have to go into the world of pre-built PCs. So things like iBuyPower or CyberPower PC or Dell or HP. And this is really the only way you're gonna get like the 30 series GPUs or even the latest CPUs. Now, Linus Tech Tips actually did a really great video talking about the buying experience from all these different manufacturers. I really recommend checking it out. I've linked to it above and in the description. But from looking at options and configurations and price, I think iBuyPower and CyberPower PC offer some good entry-level machines. Now on the you know big PC manufacturer side, it's basically like Dell and HP and Lenovo and MSI and Asus all have their own options. I will say there's some Omen PCs from HP. They're not the highest end ones, but they'll give you access to at least a 20 series GPU, which you can use for encoding and a pretty decent i9 or i7 CPU. So that's a good place to start the Omen PCs. So I think in this whole current PC landscape, really the best option for buying a new streaming PC is gonna be in laptops. So in laptops, you're basically looking for two minimum requirements. One is having at least a 1660 GPU. This will give you access to the NVIC encoder, which is an incredible encoder for streaming. Like 1660, you can encode your stream. It's gonna be as good as a, you know, X264, 1080p60 at a medium preset. It'll look really nice. And you're gonna to wanna to look for a Thunderbolt 3 port. So if you have a Thunderbolt 3 port, that means you can add a PCIe chassis to it and you can add different capture cards in like, you know, full HD 60 FPS capture cards. You're not just limited to USB 3.0 capture cards. So a really good laptop I found was the MSI Stealth laptops. They're thin and light laptops and you can find them for pretty good prices on Newegg. And I'm sure if you dig around, you can find even better deals or just wait till there's a sale or something. Now, if you absolutely must go to the latest and greatest 3080, you wanna use this for gaming as well. You can look for these, but with 3080 laptops, the one thing you wanna check out is check out the wattage on the GPU that it's getting because instead of saying like it's max Q or it's only gonna get this much performance, they basically change the wattage on the different GPUs and that'll limit the you know frame rate and performance that you get. Having said that, the Gigabyte Aero line is pretty good. The Asus G15, which is using Ryzen processors, is really good. 
Uh, there's a lot of really good options for laptops. But the final thing to get a really good deal, especially with laptops, is each manufacturer has a refurbished section of their site. These are refurbished laptops. And you can get some pretty good new laptops there and they will have full warranties and they have really good discounts. So make sure to dig around in that section to get a good deal on laptops. So hopefully this video saved you a few bucks, but I wanna know from you, like, did you plan to get a PC last year or this year? You can't get the parts. Do you really regret giving away that 2060 thinking that you were gonna never use it again? Let me know in the comments, like and share this video if it was helpful and be sure to subscribe for the next time we're in the studio.